Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today I will talk about Agmo Crypto System, and it's a three-step process in math formulas. The Agmo Crypto System is a symmetric key encryption algorithm or a public key algorithm. It's based on the principle of Diffie-Hellman key exchange or DHKE. The Agmo algorithm was created in 1985 by Tahir Agmo, an Egyptian cryptographer and entrepreneur. He is considered as the father of SSL. SSL stands for Secure Sockets Layer. SSL encrypts data between the user and web server and thus protecting the user's privacy. He is also the major contributor to Digital Signature Standard DSS. Here is the scenario. Bob wants to send a message to Alice. Bob is the message sender and Alice is the message receiver. They agree to use Agmo for encryption and decryption. Keep in mind, the public key system always starts with the message receiver, who is responsible for public key generation. The process of Agmo algorithm consists of three major steps. Step 1. Key generation by Alice, the message receiver. Alice will generate a pair of keys, a public key and a private key. She sends the public key to Bob. She keeps the private key. These two keys are mathematically related. Step 2. Bob, the message sender, will use Alice's public key to encrypt his message and send the encrypt message ciphertext to Alice. Step 3. Alice uses her private key to decrypt Bob's ciphertext. Here I will use math formulas and it could be or it must be very boring and tedious, which is the nature of a crypto system. But once we go through these formulas, and once I demonstrate the whole process again by plugging some real simple numbers, everything would make perfect sense. Now let's see the details step by step. Step 1. Key Generation by Alice the following is sub-steps. And first, select P. P is a very large prime number. Then find a primitive root of P, G. In my last video, I talked about how to get a primitive root of P. So if, if you don't know how to find a primitive root of P or how does it works? Please refer to my last video about how to find a primitive root. Then choose a random integer A as her private key. Where the private key A bigger than 1 but smaller than P minus 1. So again, a is a random integer, not necessarily a prime number. The next, compute E. So the formula is E equal G to A modular P. And then Alice get the public key, which is P, G, and E. So three values, that's a public key. And she will send the public key to Bob. 
Step two, encryption by Bob. So suppose the Bob wants to send the plain text M. So M must be smaller than P in terms of value. And select random integer B. So that's a random integer B, and B is bigger than 1 but smaller than P minus 1. Next, compute two values C1 and C2, where C1 equal G to B modular P. C2 equal M times E to B modular P. And then he gets the cipher text C1 and C2 for the plain text M. Okay, M is just a symbol, a variable. Now the step to three. When Alice gets the cipher text C1 and C2, she will use her private key A to decrypt cipher text by using two formulas. So the first formula is x equal C1 to A modular P, where she gets the value of x. Then she plugs x into the second formula, m equals c2 times xp minus 2 modular p, and she will get the value of plain text m. So please do not ask me how I get the formula. All right. So that's the Agamos problem. <laughs> the whole process is done. Here is the diagram of a three-step process with math formulas. The public key algorithm such as AGMO and RSA always start with a message receiver and who is responsible for generating the public key. The message senders use the public key for encryption. During the process, the public key and the software text are transmitted over the public channel like the internet. Private keys are only known to their creators or owners are always kept as a secret. In my next video, I will use some simple numbers to demonstrate the whole process. Please stay tuned. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time.